Talking about seeing the world through different eyes, um, our next reader, um, I can't personally think of a, another contemporary writer that's affected and changed as many people's lives as Mark Haddon. Um, the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night was not only the most applied for book in the first World Book Night, uh, not only was it made into a, a National Theatre production, uh, not only was it the winner of the Whitbread and the Commonwealth Writers Prize, um, I feel, anecdotally at any rate, from what I'm told, that it was a lot of people's return to reading in their adult life. Um, such was the power of the writing. Um, and again, he has been a great supporter of World Book Night and generally a great supporter of reading. Um, prepare yourselves for four minutes of Mark Haddon magic. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Haddon. I pulled the fork out of the dog and lifted him into my arms and hugged him. He was leaking blood from the fork holes. I like dogs. You always know what a dog is thinking. It has four moods, happy, sad, cross, and concentrating. Also, dogs are faithful, and they do not tell lies because they cannot talk. I had been hugging the dog for four minutes when I heard screaming. I looked up and saw Mrs. Shears running towards me from the patio. She was wearing pajamas and a house coat. Her toenails were painted bright pink, and she had no shoes on. She was shouting, what in fuck's name have you done to my dog? <laughs> I do not like people shouting at me. It makes me scared that they are going to hit me or touch me, and I do not know what is going to happen. Let go of the dog, she shouted. Let go of the fucking dog, for Christ's sake. I put the dog down on the lawn and moved back two meters. She bent down. I thought she was going to pick the dog up herself, but she didn't. Perhaps she noticed how much blood there was and didn't want to get dirty. Instead, she started screaming again. I put my hands over my ears and closed my eyes and rolled forward till I was hunched up with my forehead pressed onto the grass. The grass was wet and cold. It was nice. This is a murder mystery novel. Siobhan said that I should write something I would want to read myself. Mostly, I read books about science and maths. I do not like proper novels. In proper novels, people say things like, I am veined with iron, with silver, and with streaks of common mud. I cannot contract into the firm fist which those clench who do not depend on stimulus. I found this in a book in the library in town when mother took me into town once. What does it mean? I do not know, nor does father, nor do Siobhan or Mr. Jevons. I have asked them. Siobhan has long blonde hair and wears glasses which are made of green plastic. And Mr. Jevons smells of soap and wears brown shoes that have approximately 60 tiny circular holes in each of them. But I do like murder mystery novels, so I am writing a murder mystery novel. In a murder mystery novel, someone has to work out who the murderer is and then catch them. It is a puzzle. If it is a good puzzle, you can sometimes work out the answer before the end of the book. Siobhan said that the book should begin with something to grab people's attention. That is why I started with the dog. I also started with the dog because it happened to me, and I find it hard to imagine things which did not happen to me. Siobhan read the first page and said that it was different. She put this word into inverted commas by making the wiggly quotation sign with her first and second fingers. She said that it was usually people who are killed in murder mystery novels. I said that two dogs were killed in The Hound of the Baskervilles, The Hound itself and James Mortimer's Spaniel. But Siobhan said they weren't the victims of the murder. Sir Giles Baskerville was. She said that this was because readers cared more about people than dogs, so if a person was killed in the book, readers would want to carry on reading. I said that I wanted to write about something real. And I knew people who had died, but I did not know any people who had been killed, except Edward's father from school, Mr. Paulson, and that was a gliding accident, not murder, and I didn't really know him. I also said that I cared about dogs because they were faithful and honest, and some dogs were cleverer and more interesting than some people. Steve, for example, who comes to school on a Thursday, needs help to eat his food and could not even fetch a stick. Siobhan asked me not to say this to Steve's mother. Thank you.